As more and more people get vaccinated, many are just hoping to return to a more normal life. So what has it been like to receive the shots? Over the next few months, Team 12's Michael Doudna will be following the vaccine journey of three different people. Like it was, everything just was flipped upside down pretty quick too. Three people, three stories, and three life changes. For Josephine Zahn, a single mother of two, the pandemic hit home while they were overseas in London. We were watching the pictures of people going to Target and grocery stores and seeing bare shelves, and we just didn't really think that it was reality. But after catching one of the last flights back, they came home to empty shelves. Her daughter would never return to high school as she missed out on graduation. You know, we missed out on birthday celebrations and Mother's Day and holidays. Weeks ago, Josephine got vaccinated, hoping it soon marks an end to all of those missed celebrations. If the last year and a half taught us anything, it's that life is really precious. Candace Lindsay knows that firsthand. I'm pretty out and about seeing people, hugging people, etc. But in a pandemic world, her weekly tea visits, her time in church became more rare. And all of a sudden, I didn't feel comfortable. But this spring, the vaccine giving her new confidence, a chance for her to be there for Sunday service on Mother's Day. Um, just being present, being present um, with other human beings was just picked up our day. All of us were that way. For Amanda Lewis, 2020 was a time of change. Happy hour drinks became hikes and float trips. She changed jobs, caught COVID, and watched as everyone's normal changed around her. This pandemic at some point will be in our history books. But the hope of all three is that last year is history. That one day soon they can travel, go to church, or just get a couple of drinks without a second thought. Like, I just, I want normalcy. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Michael, thanks.